my research is all longitudinal in nature, which means that we're taking groups of athletes and following them over time to see how the brain is affected when these athletes are playing their sports. So we're interested in both individuals that play contact sports and have had concussions, individuals that play contact sports but have never had concussions, and also individuals who are not involved in contact sports at all. We have after injury data, that is we take an individual, we find out that they sustained a concussion, and then we test them. And we're using a measure called EEG, electroencephalography, in order to do that. And it's a measure of brainwave activity. So we're looking to see if there's changes in brainwave activity as these athletes compete in their sports across time. What we're missing is what would the brain look like before the injury had occurred. So that's where my research piece comes in. I hope that we add to the concussion literature, number one, but number two, that we come up with a way to make our management and treatment protocols that much more efficient. I am probably the biggest sports fanatic that there is, particularly when it comes to football. So it's not my goal to shut it down, it's my goal to make it safer. For example, people like my son, who's 16 months old, when he's of the age where he can play football, if he wants to play, I know that we're doing everything we can to keep him safe. I'm looking for research subjects between the ages of 14 to 35. They can be male and female, and they can either play in contact sports or for the non-contact athletes, tennis players, golfers, runners. As long as you're not purposely being hit in the head, I can use you in the study.